Hey guys, so uh, I warn you now, if you don't want to get a little bit depressed, don't watch this video, because it isn't going to be a happy one, it is, it's going to be a bit of a, bit of a depressing one. See, I'm sure you noticed about a month or two ago, can't actually remember when, I just disappeared for about two weeks, didn't post anything, stayed off every platform that I'm on, I just didn't do anything at all. And I've mentioned in a couple of videos that at some point I may tell you what happened or what was going on at the time, and I've decided that, yeah, I'm, I'm going to. Basically, the last few months have been very, uh, very up and down. Hasn't been the best time. But those two weeks, well, I fell into a bit of an emotional black hole. I just, I didn't feel like myself. I didn't feel comfortable making a video because it meant I'd, ha I'd have to try and be happy and I'd have to sit there and watch myself doing it while I edit it and I didn't feel comfortable doing that. I didn't want to view myself really. I didn't want to be me. I will say since since that two weeks again it's been up and down but it hasn't been that bad. It's stayed better. But those those two weeks weren't good. I ended up going up to Lincoln to visit my dad for the weekend because I needed to just I just needed to get away from everything really. I needed to get away from the scene like this scenery. I get get away from most of the people I knew and just do nothing. The bare minimum and it helped. It really, really did help. So yeah, during that time there was nothing there wasn't any shit going on. Nothing really happened. But I just kind of I just kind of went down and really fucking far down. It's like one moment I'd be happy, I'd be neutral, really, just myself. And then one tiny little thing would happen, and I'd go from being happy to just way, way fucking down. Or I'd go from happy to murderously angry, and I couldn't control it. It wasn't good. So I was just fucking, my, my moods were changing like that and it, it wasn't comfortable, I didn't like it, I didn't, I ended up barely seeing any of my mates for that too because I pretty much just didn't go out because I didn't want to inflict myself on people. It's another reason I wasn't recording, I didn't want to feel like I'd want people to watch it because I, I didn't want people to see me at that point. been doing that a lot as well drinking too much but yeah before you all get oh I say all before any of you get worried or anything I'm I'm okay nothing's gonna happen I'm just going through something I'm sure it'll work itself out soon but until it does work itself out this is me if you're watching the vlogtober series which this video is obviously in then you can you can see I'm not exactly doing much or I'm not exactly happy but I'm I'm better than I was which is why I'm back doing these videos and I'm trying to actually properly pull myself out of that situation because instead of doing one or two videos a week or on a day I'm feeling good I'd go out and record five videos and I'd be set for the next couple of weeks, which I did a few times. I'm doing 31 videos in a month. I'm recording every single day. I'm putting myself in front of a camera, in front of all of you, every day. I'm trying to make myself feel better. It's working, I think. I think it is actually helping quite a lot. It's a distraction as well. When everything's quiet and calm and nothing's going on, and I'm on my own, not doing anything. My mind 
it just it wanders. It wanders to places I don't want it to wander. Like I'll start thinking about things I fucked up four or five years ago. And I'll be angry and upset about it. I, I could be doing fine all day, have one thought just go bing, through my head out the other side, and that's it, the day's fucked. There, there's no point me doing anything that day because I didn't want to think about that. It's not what I wanted. But like I said, it's getting better slowly. I have spoken to a few of my mates who have said that they might think I do have something not quite right in there. I think one of the reasons this is happening is my job and this the situation my job puts me in. I work nights. My social life is cut down dramatically because I work nights because I can't go out in the evening with my mates drinking because I'm working at night. The only real free time I have is now between seven o'clock in the morning and lunch. You can't really go out drinking at 10 o'clock in the morning. People tend to frown, frown on that. So it means I'm spending more time with myself, I'm getting in my own head and it's not a nice place to be. Also the fact that I don't enjoy my job. It's not, it's not, it was something I wanted to do at the start to get a bit of money to run my moped when I was at school. Yes, my moped. It was a long time ago. But I ended up staying there and I'm still there now. I am in the process of getting out of this job. I will say that now. I am in the process of leaving this place in my dust and never looking back. Can't guarantee it, but it, it there is things happening in the background to try and get me out of this job. So yeah, honestly, I don't think many of you will be interested in knowing any of this. But some of you, you, you might want to know what's going on with me. This is something I struggle with, to be honest. I mean, I started doing YouTube, didn't expect it to go anywhere, didn't expect anything to come of it. And now I'm sat on over 200 subscribers, which in the grand scheme of things isn't a lot. You look at channels with hundred, hundreds of thousands, millions of subscribers, and I'm sat here with oh, just, just over 200. Does it sound like a lot when you compare it to those numbers? But from where I'm sitting, that is 200 people who have gone, I like this. I'm going to watch this person talking about random shit, doing random shit at no benefit to them. I can't imagine these videos help anyone. And then a few of you, I mean, Jesus, in the video I put up, I'm, I'm a professional, I don't need a script. I wasn't in the best place when I put that video up, to be honest. If you watch it back, some of the uh, jokes I made in there aren't jokes. But I said I might, I don't know if I'm going to do this video. And one of you, I'm not going to say who, but one of you put a comment up saying, oh, I'm, I'm not going to say what it said, but it meant so much to me to read that. That, that actually made my day. That was brilliant, so thank you. That really did mean a lot to me, just to read that comment. So I'm, I'm not used to seeing stuff like that. I'm used to me having a problem and people going, I'll deal with it. But to read that, that was... I know it might not have felt like it would mean a lot, I know some of you might go back and read it now to see what I'm on about and think doesn't mean anything but it really meant a lot to me and that's why I'm doing this video because it made me feel like some of you do care that I'm also doing it in a video because I find it a lot easier to speak to a camera than I do a person because I couldn't meet one of you and talk to you about it I couldn't I struggled talking to my mates about this but a camera, it's not going to judge me. This camera's not going to start talking back at me, telling me to sort myself out, sort my shit out and get on with it. It just listens. And then I'll put it up on the internet for some freaking unknown reason. So yeah, long story short, why did I 
just disappear for two weeks. I was going through some shit in my own brain that meant I couldn't or didn't want to do this. I wasn't myself. Still not quite there, but I went fucking so far down. Not that far down. Not that level. Some of you might be thinking, fucking hell, he went that far down. No. Those thoughts didn't cross my head. But I got to the lowest point I'd been for a very, very long time. And I didn't want to inflict myself on people. So anyway, I suppose I owe you, what, 100, 200 pound for this session? But yeah, thank you for listening. And I'll see you all tomorrow.